disgraceful. <laughs> Absolutely disgraceful, ladies and gentlemen. The kind of performance that you don't want to see. That's how bad we were today. Drawing 1 1 against Atletico Madrid. It almost feels like a loss, to be completely honest. I don't want to see any of these players ever again on that football pitch. All of them should get fired today. Come on now. Real talk though, all jokes aside, uh, actually a good, a good, relatively good performance considering the squad. We actually looked pretty good overall. For like throughout the 90 minutes, we didn't actually look like the worst team. Uh, I like my drift, they did have their chances. They did look very solid as well, of course. Attacking wise, I want to say they look very strong. Um, Jao Felix, uh, my goodness, what a player. Uh, Bayern, you know. Yeah, give him a call. Give him a call. That's all I'm gonna say. But overall, I have to say the performance is very, very good considering the squad that we played. You know, it's a one-one draw. We we didn't continue our winning streak, but honestly, the draw at this point feels like a victory because, quite frankly, a draw at this point is almost a victory. You know, we're already through. We played our. The C team, let's not kid ourselves, we played our C team and we drew against Atletico Madrid, a team that is currently doing really, really well in La Liga and obviously historically is a team that causes a lot of problems for a lot of teams and, and we, basically, we, we basically went there and we said, hey, youngsters, have some fun, coolio, and you know what, they had some fun, I said, coolio, so from that, from that perspective, I'm like, okay, great, okay, great, yeah. Yeah, that's why I hate wearing the Santa Claus hat. This is exactly why. But, yeah. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Let's talk about the game a little bit. Um, I have to say, I actually quite enjoyed it. And not for the reasons that you might think. Like, I didn't enjoy it because it was particularly, like, a good game or anything of that sort. Or an entertaining game or anything of that sort. I enjoyed it because it felt a little bit... It's kind of funny to say that, but it felt like a game that we haven't had in a while. Uh, and what I mean by that is that it felt like a game where uh, I wasn't sure that we could win. And usually, like, with these games, I always go into expecting to win. And that's always been the case. But, you know, there are certain degrees of expectations that you have where, like, you know, the past 12 months or so, I've been I've been going into these games 100% expecting to win against any team. I mean, most of you guys already know. Like, when, usually I go into these games with high expectations. Like, oh, I think we're going to win 4-1, 5-2. Uh, I remember... It's, I mean, it's not that long ago, but the Barcelona game is a perfect example. I said we beat them 4-1. Everyone was like, it's Barcelona you're talking about. How, how could you possibly think 4-1 and we beat them? Well, granted, we beat them twice that score. But I generally always go into like these games with high expectations because I expect the team to perform. Uh, I expect, no matter who, who the player is that's out there to perform, and that's exactly what I always expect. Um... But on the flick, that's taken a new meaning because on the flick, we've had such a good record that like I'm expecting that times 10. So today with the expected lineup and then when I saw the lineup, I was like, okay, you know what? I expect us to win. 6-2. Um, granted, that was one of those hopeful performances because I was thinking that Atletico Madrid are going to be a lot more attacking. I thought Atletico Madrid did kind of you would play against their style because they'd see, oh wait, these guys, youngsters, <laughs> Okay, we'll, we'll go at them. Yeah, we'll, we'll go at them. Like, I, I thought that's basically what they were going to do, but no, that wasn't the case. So, unfortunate, but it is what it is. Um, well, that, that, eh, that just shifted. But, you know, it, it is what it is. Um, I do, I will say, you know, a few players really, really impressed me. A few players did not so much. Um, you know, if a player that really impressed me was, for example, Musiala. Again, um, truly, truly, absolutely fantastic talent. Uh, what I found funny as well was that Ari... Ari um, despite the fact that like he really hasn't played at all for like the senior team, you know, at all, um, he didn't look that bad. Like he, he wasn't necessarily like a world beater or anything of that sort, but like he didn't look that bad. Um, Sa in the first half I thought was really really good. Um, obviously another player that doesn't get as many minutes, I guess I should say. I thought in the first half he looked very very good. Second half not so much. Um, Sane, Sane looked very good in moments. But I didn't feel like he looked good throughout the whole 90 minutes. He looked good in moments. Like, he looked good for when he was on the ball, you know, here and there, performing something here and there. Um, and then he kind of just disappeared for another f for a five, five to ten minutes. And then, like, he was good on the ball again for a few moments. And then disappeared again for another ten minutes. So it's kind of just like, I'm going to be here. I'm going to disappear. I'm going to be here. I'm going to disappear. I'm going to be here. I'm going to disappear. So from that perspective, I'm like, okay, Sana, you got to do a little bit better than that, bro. Um... But that kind of goes for the whole team, actually. You know, I felt like with a, with a majority of our team, we're just kind of slow. 
too slow to build up. Um, you know, and against against a team like Atletico Madrid, you kind of need that speed. And really, the the only time like we really had pace was in like the last ten minutes or so when we when we got the goal, the equalizer, and we were really going forward. That's when the only time when I could say, you know what, we really really try to win that game. But right before that, I was like, mm, we're just trying to contain them. You know, we're not necessarily trying to win. We're just trying to contain them, and that's exactly how it felt like. You know, in the last ten minutes, where it's like, no, no, you know what, let's win. Let's let's actually win. So from that perspective, I do want to say, you know, we do need to do better. Um, but ultimately, I'm happy with the result. I'll be honest, I'm happy with the result. I'm tired, as you can probably tell. I'm slurring my speech. Uh, I'm tired. You know, usually at this time, with my current sleep schedule, I'd be asleep. It's uh, usually I go to sleep at like six p.m. nowadays. It's like whoa, crazy. Um, but I wanted to stay awake for this one. I didn't want to watch the highlights. I didn't want to watch the you know full replay of the game afterwards when I woke up. I wanted to um watch this live because. The youngsters playing with the young ones playing with the fringe players playing. I was like, you know what? I I want to see how they perform against a team as good as Atletico Madrid. Yes, you may you know people are saying oh, Atletico Madrid they're just too defensive, so on and so forth. But the fact of the matter is they're doing well. They've they've got a style and it works for them. Yes, it, you know when it doesn't work, people can criticize it as much as possible. People do the same thing with any team. Like you can be too defensive, you can be too offensive, you can be too balanced. It doesn't matter what you do. People will criticize the second you lose. You know if if Bayern lose tomorrow, um, granted we don't play tomorrow, but if Bayern lose, then the whole discussion will be well Bayern is too offensive. They push up so high, high line. How often have we heard high line, high defensive line, high this, high that? You know how often have we heard that? But Every formation, every style, you know, has a weakness. Um, every system has a weakness. Everything has a flaw in life. You know, that's just the way you got. You got to be objective. Like, don't like, don't let your subjectivity um, take over your control, take over your thoughts. Be objective about things. Everything can work. Everything can fail. Um, every offensive formation can have its bad day. Every defensive formation can have its bad day too. I think if, as long as you stick to a style and you truly believe in it, you're going to go far, kid. But, you know, in this case, in this scenario, obviously, you know, they were very offensive. And I thought maybe they wouldn't because of, you know, because they would see our lineup and whatnot. But no, they stuck to their game plan. And, you know what, they executed very, very well. Um, worse on the other hand, we tried playing our game. Sometimes it worked, sometimes it didn't. Granted, it is what it is. You know, at the end of the day, it is what it is. And we got a draw. Which at this point obviously feels kind of like a win, um, but there are some elements that we could very much do better on. I mean, you know, our chances we didn't create too many. To be completely honest, you know, we definitely could have created more. Um, I feel like first half we had what two shots in general. One that Sane had, which where he shot it to the stands, and the other one where Eric Maxim Shubmoteng had, where he kind of just shot. Yeah, it was on target, granted, but it was like a, it was a tame effort. So, I, well, just from that perspective, you can't say you know what we really should be doing better in terms of creating more chances up front. But I'm not too angry. I'm not too sad. I'm just like, cool. I'm gonna rewatch that game when I wake up, and you know what? I'm gonna probably watch it three, four times and pick apart what I liked and what I didn't like. But yeah, um, that's my take, and my view, my opinion, and um my voice on the game let me know what you all think and i'll see all of you in the next one everyone until then ho 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 and peace out